Hey guys, it's Matthew here once again. First of all, apologies for my voice, I'm a little bit sick at the moment, uh, but I needed to make another video for the Bone Spear Necro uh, because I did change something somewhat pivotal that allowed me to start doing bigger crits. As you can see, we've hit numbers like 5 million at this point, and uh, it was something of a substantial enough change that warrants an extra bit of an update. You can see on world bosses that once I start going in, once I start chunking, it is absolute chunk fest. Um, but yeah, let me just show you real quick. So the major thing that I changed was putting the um, corpse tendrils effect on the weapon instead of the bone spear effect. Now, previously I did think, yep, having lots of um, extra that bone spear damage, especially on the return ones, um, is pretty good uh, but ultimately it's not as good of a percentage so as you can see it says deals 80 percent damage and that's just an 80 percent increase but when in diablo 4 you have that x that means like more of a multiplier so kind of like a more thing so if you put it on your weapon you deal 120 times 120 more bonus crit damage to enemies damaged um, by corpse tendrils it also solves our crit because it gives us 40 crit after corpse tendrils uh, the downside is that you are basically a lot more tied to your corpse tendrils for your burst uh, which was already basically the case so it's not really a huge change it's just that nowadays i am running around critting things for like one to two million without any setup and then with this setup it goes for like you know three four five million so it's a pretty substantial increase when you actually get your corpse tendrils um to damage an enemy and suck them in and it it's big like it's a pretty big change so i had to go ahead and let everyone know um i did make a final weapon i don't know if i remember saying that but there it is uh, otherwise, yeah, the build, I'll just go over it real quick, just um, for the gear so you can see everything that's happening. If you haven't watched any previous videos, um, Ossified Essence on gloves, but can go wherever. Um, and also put on a much thicker chest is the only other thing, because chest slot is typically not going to give you a lot of damage. So damage from close enemies, damage from distant, damage reduction, life, armor, all that shit. Uh, I've also got a fizz roll, but we could reroll that for something else. Uh, yeah, it should just be basically a thicker chest. Um, got the Deathless Visage at the higher tier as well. It still basically does no damage, but it is a nice hat for um, just the stats, the DPS stats. You could also go a lot more defensive on the hat. Uh, so just to comment, like my character with 4k life and, you know, armor and whatever the fuck uh doesn't really have any troubles in normal game at all like never die don't take damage once i start pushing up to like nightmares 60 plus i'm just getting one shot everywhere so my strategy is to like stand back and kill things um with my own one shots uh so that's where defenses might need to really start coming in if you want to do that and take on monsters 40 levels higher than you uh currently this is fine it seems for everything um and i don't even know if i can build much tank here uh to the point where i'm not getting one shot in 40 level higher zones i haven't really tried it but it's whatever um so then also damage with barrier um lucky hit with the vulnerable stuff that is once again a good portion of our sustain on single target and then the other bone spear thing um, and the skill tree as well just in case like i said you aren't watching any other videos this is it doing all that doing all this and this and that um blood mist which i specifically took just for dungeons and higher tier dungeons so that you have a panic button otherwise i don't think it's super necessary um, that, that, that. Corpse Tendrils, I started leveling it just for no real reason. I didn't know what else to do. Uh, it reduces its cooldown by a little bit. And then, um, yeah, those, those. This is a pure buff stick and that. Uh, and the Paragon board, it's a bit all over the place. I doubt it's correct, but I really don't have the energy to like min-max it. So let's go that guy there. Did all that and grabbed this thing. Did all that. Did all that. Uh, up here. Into here. Which, a bit more dexterity could still go. If I was going to keep leveling this character, um, I'd you know, keep trying to min-max my Paragon board. And it's not wrong for me to try and take this character to level 100. 
um, would be good to then try, try and fight Uber Lilith because it's really hard to do without a high level character. Um, you will just get squashed. Um, and yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I don't have this one. This one, if you are actually using Corpse Explode, would be a huge multiplier as well. Uh, I've taken it out of the build, but if I was going to try and min-max for damage, I probably still would try and take this and fit Corpse Explode back into the build. But currently, that's where I'm at. That's the whole build. Leveled with Bone Spear all the way. Fucking loved Bone Spear. It felt very good. Uh, and these are my sacrifices as well. So, Bone Spear, I think, possibly the best Necro build for fun and power, who knows, but this is all I've tried, and it did steamroll the game, and as you can see, really big crits. And so, just a bit more gameplay, I've basically tried to go in and flex on every world boss possible, you can really see the difference between when I'm attacking and when I'm not, um, and yeah, the crits go to like 1, 2, 3 million on world boss. It really depends largely on your essence bar. Make sure that when you're trying to do your big burst, you have maximum amount of essence, as you should notice from several things in the build and your legendary aspects and stuff, that more essence equals good. So when you're firing off on lower essence, then it isn't going to be as impressive um, crit-wise. And uh, yeah, fixing essence is the big thing in the build and you will just be using your generator a lot more until that's actually solved. Um, every one of these Legion events, it's still the biggest um, or the best way to showcase the disparity between us and them. Everyone's running around ramping and, you know, trying to play catch up because either they're melee or they've got some poison damage or some shit. Uh, or they got some ramp, or they need cooldowns, whatever the fuck, you're running around right-clicking Bone Spears, and no setup needed for a few million hits. Uh, if you do a setup with your Corpse Tendrils, then it can go way higher. So we're just running around one-tapping everything, and it does highlight just a bit of a disparity between the groups that you're with and then what you're doing. It does take a bit of work to get to this exact point, but... When it gets there, it's pretty delicious. And then this is a Nightmare 64, so once I started trying to just push random higher tier Nightmares, um, it was bad. Like, half half of them are doable, let's just say. So 60 plus is around the category where I get one shot by things. As you can see, the monsters are really high level, and in Diablo 4 that does make a big difference. They start to, like, ignore your armor, your resists, they take less damage, all kinds of shit. Um, so in these, I'm just not allowed to take damage, and the playstyle is run around, avoid all damage, and do a bunch of your own. And like I said, maybe about half of them I could complete, and some of them just have such toxic modifiers that can't really even try. Uh, we are very comfortable at around the Nightmare 40 scenario. Nightmare 50s are not too bad. Once we get to 60s, with my current defenses, you just have to play a lot more carefully. I don't know if I could boost my defenses to make 60s more comfortable, as I haven't really tried. Um, I just I just assume it's not super worth doing, and you have to just level up more. So, character's only 82. It's a bit premature for this tier of dungeon. Either way, I was just trying it out, and I wanted to show you guys how it looks on this type of DPS, on this type of necro. Um, but yeah. That's just a quick update on the build in its fullness, but one very pivotal change that will give you much bigger DPS if you actually set up your corpse tendrils. So that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time.